Item number, SCP-506, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-506 grows in a 3 meter by 3 meter patch of soil, kept watered and fertilized via an automatic system. The air of the room where SCP-506 is kept must be filtered to prevent release of SCP-506 seeds into the environment. Personnel entering the enclosure must wear biohazard suits composed of inorganic material and must be decontaminated upon leaving the area. Due to the potential dangers associated with cross-contamination, SCP-506 and SCP-124 are not to be stored at the same Foundation site under any circumstances. Description SCP-506 is a genetically engineered variant of Zucchini, Cucurbita pepo, created by the Corporation as a hardy and rapid-growing food plant. SCP-506 exhibits several undesirable and dangerous qualities. 1. SCP-506 will attempt to grow on any organic material, including on living beings. The seeds germinate on contact. 2. SCP-506 grows extremely rapidly, reaching full size in five minutes or less. 3. Due to its rapid growth, SCP-506 drains its growing medium of nutrients at an accelerated rate. Nothing will grow in soil that has harbored SCP-506 plants without extensive nutrient replacement. 4. SCP-506 seeds are much smaller than typical squash seeds and disperse easily in the wind. SCP-506 is inedible, as the seeds will data expunged if any are consumed. To the best of the knowledge of the Foundation, SCP-506 has not escaped into the wild, and Corporation has destroyed all samples in their possession. Addendum SCP-506 is evolving rapidly, as indicated by the incidents below. Incident Report 506-1 5 2000 SCP-506 plants observed attempting to grow on the walls of the containment facility. Although the plants died of malnutrition, testing indicates the latest generation requires 35% fewer nutrients than when originally contained. Research in progress to find materials that do not support SCP-506 growth. Incident Report 5062-91-2000 Dr. K found dead in the SCP-506 enclosure, covered with plant growth. The means by which his suit was compromised is unknown. SCP-506 roots have been found to secrete a powerful anesthetic, explaining why Dr. K did not sound the alarm or attempt to escape the area. Researchers must be under video surveillance while working with SCP-506, with another researcher ready to assist in case of accidental infestation. Reclassification is Euclid recommended. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-505, Ink Stain right now, or for the complete course, watch this playlist.